before this morning came from St. Luke's Gospel from the 22nd chapter. And it talks about Jesus going out as was his custom to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. When he reached the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not come into the time of trial. Then he withdrew from them about a stone's throw, knelt down and prayed. And while he was still there speaking to them, a crowd came. And one, the one called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said to him, Judas, is it with a kiss that you are betraying the Son of Man? When those around him saw he was coming, they said, Lord, should we strike the sword? And one of them struck the slave of the high priest and cut off his right ear. Then Jesus said, no more of this. And he touched his ear and healed him. Have you come out with swords and clubs as if I were a bandit? When I was with you one day after day in the temple, you did not lay hands on me. But this is your hour and the power of darkness is the city sent me. So we're now getting to the stage in Holy Week where we're getting down to the real business of the passion and the, and the crucifixion. And this story talks about how Judas betrayed Jesus with a kiss. How often do we sometimes betray other people and ourselves through our own weakness and our own self-pity and those, remembering those things that we are not very proud of? Something for us to all to think about during Holy Week. Lord Jesus, you humbled yourself in taking the form of a servant and in obedience died on the cross of our salvation. Give us the mind to follow you and to proclaim you as Lord and King to the glory of God the Father. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>